one we're going to be making Santa hat pizza and if you've been following me on Instagram Twitter and Facebook you will know that the supplies behind me were brought to us by our dear elf on the shelf sprinkles so big thank you and shout out to sprinkles for bringing these supplies this pizza looks delicious all these supplies this is gonna be great so I decided to wear my Santa hat my sparkly sequin one in honor of Santa coming tonight because uh, today is December 24th and Santa's coming and I'm so excited so we've made him cookies and now we're going to have Santa hat pizza for dinner in honor of him so anyway mom show them what they need to know yes ma'am all right everyone so to make your Santa hat pizza these are the supplies you're going to need and you can decorate your pizza however you want except you need to have certain items to make the Santa hats so we're gonna insert a picture right in here in this area here. There you go. And that shows you what the pizza is gonna look like in the end. So you'll understand why you need some of these ingredients. So first things first, you're going to need pizza crust, plain pizza crust. You can buy these at any grocery store, or you can make your own crusts if you feel ambitious, but we're not gonna do that. So we have pre-made pizza crusts. We also have pizza sauce. Um, to put on the pizza. We have mozzarella shredded cheese. We have cilantro. Um, you could also use spinach or any type of green. You could green, use green peppers, anything that's green, because we just want to add a little bit of green to the pizza just so it looks Christmas and festive. Um, you can skip that step if you don't want to do that, however. You're also going to need, and this is pretty important, um, you could probably do this if you don't eat meat or if you don't like pepperoni you could probably use red peppers if you cut them up a certain way and you'll see that in just a minute but these are just regular um, original pepperoni so you'll need pepperoni and you're also going to need um, a cheese stick or any type of solid cheese like this this is just a mozzarella cheese stick and you're gonna see what you're gonna do with that in just a minute so these are the two most important things to actually make the Santa hat pizza on top of all of this so anyway guys let's get started so according to the Bobbly pizza crust packaging we have to heat preheat the oven to 450 degrees and remember guys make sure you get your parents help when dealing with the oven or the stove or anything that could hurt you in the kitchen so we're gonna turn this to 450 and we're gonna watch the flame rise in there there it is all right guys so let's get started so now that that's done the oven will be preheating and we are going to decorate our pizza okay so first things first we're going to take one of the pizza crusts out of the package this is a two pack but Lammy and I are going to share this pizza here so we're just gonna put that down like that simple enough the next step is to take our pizza sauce and we have ragu pizza sauce here so I'm going to load up the uh, crust with this Hey, Lammy, how much pizza sauce do you want? Not a lot. Okay. You don't like too much, do you? No, I like it light. Okay, she likes it light. Okay, so let me get a spoon and I'll get on top of that. All right, so we have a spoon here. We're just going to scoop some of this pizza sauce out. And she doesn't want too much, so we're going to put a light coat of the pizza sauce all like this all over the pizza. Not too much. Right, another version of pizza that we like is white sauce pizza. It's pretty good too. So there is the sauce. Lammy, is this enough sauce? Perfect. Okay. So this is the perfect amount, she says. So now we're gonna move on to the fun part, which is actually decorating it. All right, so the next step is to add the shredded cheese. We have mozzarella shredded cheese here. Make sure your hands are clean and washed. And then we're just gonna take some out. Lammy? Yeah? How much cheese do you want? I want a lot. You like cheese, huh? Oh yeah. Okay, well, let's put on a fair amount of cheese, decent amount. 
Now, sometimes what you can do is put on a layer of cheese and then put on your pepperoni and your decorations and things like that. But this recipe in particular, you are not going to be adding any more cheese after you put on the pepperoni and everything. So make sure that you put as much cheese as you would like right at this point. Okay, so I have loaded that up with quite a bit of cheese. Moving on, the next step is we're going to add cilantro leaves. Like I mentioned earlier, you could add green pepper, spinach leaves, anything green, or you can just leave the green out if it's not that important to you. But we found the cilantro, we like cilantro. So we're going to add a few leaves of the cilantro to the pizza. And this is just so it is festive for Christmas. That's all this is, is just to give it a little bit of green so it's a little more festive. All right, so we have added in some cilantro for the green. Now we are going to move on to the part that is the coolest part of the whole thing, which is actually what we're going to be doing is making the Santa hats to put on the pizza. So let me show you how that works. First, get a clean pair of kitchen scissors, or you can use a knife. Um, if you're going to be doing anything like this in the kitchen, make sure you get your parents' help. First, we're going to open up the pepperoni and we're going to take out some slices. I'm gonna take out quite a few because I wanna show you how to do this. All right, so here you have your little slices of pepperoni and they're just little regular circles, right? Well, what you need to do with your kitchen scissors and the reason I told you to grab them is because you are going to cut them like this and you're going to cut them so they're like triangles. So basically right now you are making Santa's hat. So you just cut off two angles and it creates like a hat. So we're gonna lay that right there. And then we're gonna to continue to do that for a few more pieces and you'll see what it looks like. So as you can see, I have cut the pepperoni into triangle shapes and now we move on to the cheese stick. Now the cheese stick or any other type of cheese that's solid is what is going to create the white fluff around the bottom of the hat and the white ball at the top of the hat. So you're gonna to need to open your cheese stick. Simple enough and take clean kitchen scissors, cut a little segment off like that. So see, you just have this little thing. That can be the top of the hat. So what's gonna happen is that's gonna melt and it's gonna melt and it's going to create like the ball at the top of the Santa hat. So I'm gonna do that for all of these. So now you can see that I have all the little um, balls at the top of the hats. And now what you're going to do, you're gonna have to create a different shape to do the bottom. So let me show you how we do that. So you take your cheese stick and you're going to kind of cut long ways like this. So instead of cutting it in little tiny pieces, you're kind of cutting it lengthwise. So you're gonna have a piece like this. And then to make sure that it's thin enough, you cut that in half like that. You could also use a knife for this, but make sure you get your parents' help. It's just easier to use kitchen scissors. So what we have there is we put that sliver of cheese at the bottom of the hat and that creates the bottom. So let me lift this so you can get a good look. See how that's gonna work? So I'll be right back once I do the others. So there is a close up view of what the little Santa hats are gonna look like. And what's gonna happen is, is when this cooks, the cheese is going to melt. This thicker cheese is going to melt. It's gonna look really nice. So let's put this in the oven and it says to let it cook for eight to 10 minutes. And we are using our Santa mitt. So we're going to take the pizza. We're gonna open the door just like that close the door and we have to wait eight to ten minutes. Alrighty guys, we opened the oven just for a second for you to see the progress of the pizza. So check it out. They are going to look so adorable. This is the best pizza idea ever. Aside from the time that we made lammy head pizza, that was pretty awesome. If you guys haven't seen that video, I'll link it below in the description box. I made a pizza of my head one time. Mom, mom, the alarm's going off. The, the timer's going off. You gotta get the pizza out so it doesn't burn. All right, well, Lammy, I need you to move because I gotta get in there. Okay, all right, I'm out of the way. 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 And there is the pizza. Oh, mom, they're squished. Well, hold on a minute. Alrighty guys, so there is our Santa hat pizza. I think we cooked it a few minutes too long. We should have cooked it eight minutes instead of ten, because then I think that 
the cheese and the hats would be more distinct. But you can still tell that they're Santa hats, and I think it's fabulous. So what's the chow down on this, Mom? So you're ready to eat it? Absolutely, Mom. Yum, yum, yum. Cute little Santa hats, guys. Have you guys ever made Santa hat pizza? Do you like this recipe? Do you like pizza? I sure do. Leave me a comment below and let me know what you think of this video. Also, be sure to subscribe because I have more videos coming. And follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram because I'm on there quite a bit. So anyway, guys, I'm going to go eat this. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah. Yay, Santa. This is an honor of you. Anyway.